This week, eligible voters in Port Moresby Northwest were hit with the stark reality of an electoral system that failed them yet again. Many who turned up at polling booths were told that their names could not be found on the common roll. But the complicity of polling officials, the government workers tasked to ensure free and fair elections, was even more shocking for genuine voters. At some polling locations, officials encourage constituents to vote using another name or in many instances, the names of voters who had already passed away. We asked the electoral um, commission officials there. They, um, the one that I spoke to, I asked her why my name wasn't on the common roll and she just said, oh, it's okay, you can use another name to vote, which um, I found to be, it was wrong. Just after polling this week, we spoke to Filma Timia, a resident of North Waigani for over 20 years. She registered to vote before the 2017 election only to be told that her name was not on the common roll. When she tried again to vote at a Northwest polling booth, she got the same answer. The roll still had not been updated. Polling officials said she could vote using someone else's name. She refused. So I asked them why I wasn't on the common roll and she told me, or maybe because you recently moved here and I explained that no, I've been living here for, I mean, I was born here and I've been living here since I was born. I was raised here, so I said that can't be the case and she said, oh, it's okay, then you can just use another name to vote, which I didn't want to and I just left. The frustration has been evident this week. On social media, prominent Papua New Guineans who had no problems voting in previous elections found that the irregularities seen in this by-election were by far the most disturbing. Dr. Lawrence Sauce, a senior lecturer on public policy at the University of Papua New Guinea, has researched and written about voter behavior and elections over 20 years. This week was himself a victim of the Electoral Commission's incompetence. I thought at that time that some parts of it would have been improved and that uh, the government and the Electoral Commission had uh, five years lead time mm -hmm. to make improvements. Uh, but nothing happened. So um, to me it was, it was really, really disappointing uh, and uh, therefore a great concern um, for me because uh, the uh, Port Moresby Northwest by election um, to me is a precursor of the 2022. So if we don't fix, you know, elections, uh, in this case it would be uh, Northwest, then we are in for a real bad time or bad elections in 2022. How's Plumilo for my we go down the rain tree settlement here, Tamblo Laos here, non and I name named Lomilo, Common Row, Lodis La Hub, so we go to Garden Hills. So I'll find him named Lomilo Garden Hills, and we vote. But the Friday, this is a by election vote, meeting was in by election by easy here, because you know, I plenty of work long uh, electoral commission. And by me, not got hard work still ahead. So me, working work, plum me, lao sick now. Something was in 2.30 in the boat, and me go to Garden Hills long. Uh, me go come up to Garden Hills, bus 2.45 in the boat there, close to, you know, 3 o'clock yet. And, uh, or security guards, yeah. look out in gate start now, talk, hey, no right there, old policeman, carry him, um, ballot boxes, he go for this. You late, yeah. So me drive, go to main campus, and me line up long, uh, Drill hall, polling station, long main campus, yeah? And we play, come, 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 now, now. Me close to long, also, um, front long, line, we play, sign up long end, lo vote, now, ah, voting paper, I finish. Mm -hmm. Look him, also, um, all in the walk long, check him name long, common roll to mass. People who went to vote also reported instances where supporters paid voters. Several kilometers away from one polling station, Police arrested a group of men suspected of trying to buy votes. One of those arrested was carrying 3,000 kina on him. Oh, 
Okay, man only money lo video ya yeah, you look salong ama. Yes, me look salong lem. Okay, you sorry. Um, also, me no look salong lem. Also, me name stop uh, after two days no god. Me salong lem lo now this la day that's all. Money net. Okay, me too. Um, money name ka one time this la bus sixteen. I'm come now. We play all boys. Um, we play all busy wash car lo long the line ya yeah, kawas. Mm -hmm. So money we play all boys ya kama wash car so. This la bus come now. Um, boys crew ya man only money I'm sing out. I'm talking about boys, boys, come call up, come call up, all cook, okay, time to relax, and you may go. Many Port Moresby Northwest residents say they are concerned that the by election polling turned out this way. There's a great deal of uncertainty over what might happen after the results are declared. In light of all that has happened, the winner might end up fighting election petitions in court over the next 12 months. The morning at 2 a.m. We have four suspects locked up in a whole police station. Uh, we have the returning officer here. We have the witnesses here. So any candidate or scrutiny as you stop long up here, we want you to make your way. No problems when it comes to actual voting and now the counting. Uh, I think this has happened previously and we've not learned from it, we've not uh, corrected our mistakes uh, in terms of how the counting is conducted, how polling was con uh, conducted. There's a lot of allegations about voter fraud and uh, double voting, names not appearing in the common roll. People who voted in 2017 couldn't find their name in, this, uh, in the common roll this time. Although the Electoral Commission said that we, uh, they were going to use the same uh, common roll from 2017. So there's a lot that needs to be fixed before 2022. Uh, well, I haven't thought about that, but uh, if we, if I win and we end up in court, uh, you know, it just it depends on the, the petition. It depends on the petition, you know. So I'm not familiar with the process, but, you know, I, I don't know. But uh, uh, obviously it, it will be the candidates who lose. Uh, and if they put up a, a petition, and the only question is, how do you change the access in those boxes? For the past 20 years, the quality of elections, the backbone of the Westminster system of democracy we have, has steadily declined. One of the primary reasons is that the Electoral Commission has not received adequate funding support for its operations. According to the Commission's estimates in 2016, they needed about 112 million kina for the common role updates alone. The limited funding affected role preparations in 2017. Actual submission was 180.3 uh, million kina. Uh, the actual uh, uh, estimate for the budget preparation 2016. Apart from the obvious funding difficulties, there have been numerous allegations of corruption within the Electoral Commission itself. The impact it has had on the whole democratic process has been wide-ranging. In April, Don Pole was declared winner in a court-ordered election recount of the Kandep open seat of Enga province. The process, riddled with irregularities and questionable conduct by election officers, was challenged in court. In an election petition, the delay that has been caused, not only in the kind of open elected election petition, but also in other petitions filed by petitioners in the Court of Disputed Returns, has caused a lot of resources on the petitioners, on the respondents, and the people of Papua New Guinea at large. The costs have been exorbitant and unnecessary. The delay in any election petition or even any case has been costing the economy unnecessarily 
unjustified cost that individuals had to bear and has affected the country's economy at large. What stands out now from the Port Moresby Northwest by-election is the need for government organizations like the National Statistics Office, the NID program, and the Electoral Commission to collaborate and resolve the problems we continue to face. It's a collaboration that has not yet happened since the NID program began. Jim government law, straight in NID card law, or the man is the country. Now me think, you know, not hard work to us. Only work him hard work. This is the NID system will start him. How much years ago finish? Four? Four, four, four years? Four or five years ago finish? And only spend him hundreds of millions. Goodness gracious, hundreds of millions now. Only register him that's all ten percent or something long, all adult uh, line long country blame me. I get the eggs together. It's deplorable. It's inexcusable for the people of this country to expect a system that allows the election of their leaders in a more transparent, in a in a manner that has integrity, in a manner that would allow uh, competent leaders to be um, elected into parliament, not on a on a system that is fraudulent. But we're allowing a fraud system to exist for a long time.